Everybody loves the Minolta SRT series camera and for good reasons, they're excellent. And on this video I'm going to show you how you can recalibrate the light meter to use modern day alkaline batteries. And before you ask, yes, it is required to do so if you want to use the meter on your SRT. It's very easy to do, you don't require any special tools nor any special components, so let's get on with it. To show you the reasons why you should do that, let's do this experiment. Let's take this Minolta SRT, original condition, a modern day alkaline battery that fits in the Minolta and this Pentax ME Super. It could be any other camera, even the digital, it doesn't matter. We're going to use it to do a comparison for the values. For a fair comparison, what we need to do is to point both cameras at an evenly lit surface. And we just got one, just above us, the sky. By doing so, the Pentax tells me that uh, correct exposure is achieved with uh, ISO 100, 1 over 125 shutter speed and an aperture of f11. Now let's give this a try with the Minolta, and the Minolta with the same ISO and shutter speeds gives me an aperture of f16. That's one stop underexposed. And you may think, well, that's not much, but have a look at this. This is what it looks like if you underexpose a shot by one stop. It's not much, but hey, that's still something. The Minolta SRT came out in 1966, and back then they used mercury batteries that are not available anymore. But mercury batteries had a nominal voltage of 1.35 volts, while modern day batteries have a nominal voltage of 1.55. That alone explains why we have some discrepancies in the measurements. A solution to this problem is to use zinc air batteries, but they don't last long. Another solution is to get an adapter that costs money. My solution for SRT cameras is to recalibrate the meter. It's very easy. First thing you want to do is to remove both screws on the bottom plate of the camera and lift it up. There we go. Look at these potentiometers. See the one with uh, the colored wires? This is the trim pot for the meter. The other one is for the battery check function. We're going to talk about it later. Using a small flat screwdriver, I'm going to adjust the meter by turning it counterclockwise. You see, the tip of the potentiometer was at around 9 o'clock. I put it at 8. Now let's get outside. Let's put back the base plate temporarily to close the switch and uh, let's take a measurement. Okay, we're almost there. I'm between F11 and F16. Let's dial it back just a little bit again. Victory is mine! Now let's fix the battery check, and th this potentiometer doesn't have the ability to be used by a screwdriver. So I'm going to use a toothpick just to adjust it. And there we go. We don't need to go outside now because it's independent from the light. And the correct battery settings is the needle going to this indentation in the viewfinder. Hmm, there we go. It's okay. Now I can put it back together and the camera is now recalibrated. And there we are, my SRT is now recalibrated and I can use it with alkaline or silver oxide batteries that you can find almost everywhere. Isn't that cool? Well, some of you guys are going to say, well, what about using a diode to drop the voltage of the battery? Well, on the SRT camera, it's much easier to recalibrate just like I did. Because there's no soldering job to do, no nothing, you don't have to source a suitable diode. It's very easy. The SRT is like made to be recalibrated at home with only basic tools. And I hope this video is going to be useful to you because uh, lots of you guys love the SRT camera. I reviewed one of them, the SRT 101, a while ago on my channel. So check this out. And uh, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.